Why am I being apprehended? You just opened my car door. Get out of the car! And then you're gonna I will stun light me? you up. Get out! Wow. Now! When I watched this video and I saw people continuing to blame Sandra Bland for her own mistreatment, I thought about this video. Thank anyway. you for your concern with my safety. Okay. I don't need it. You can't put a sentence together. Sorry. Okay. That's pathetic. Okay. And you are a disappointment. And you are just following him. So you are also a disappointment. Okay. You can't put together a sentence. I thought about it a lot. You may take them now. You may not tell me when to take my child. You may shut the f up and not tell me when I may take my kid. As often happens with the truth in this country, to many, it's uncomfortable. But if Sandra Bland was white, she'd be here today. Those were the words uttered by Bernie Sanders earlier today. Words that many regular US citizens wouldn't dare say, never mind a presidential candidate. But nonetheless, they're true. It's been almost four years since the death of Sandra Bland, and up until yesterday, no one had seen Bland's view of her own arrest, including her own family and attorney assigned to represent them in civil court. It turns out there was cell phone footage of the incident that authorities had kept hidden from the public all these years. And if you're wondering why, let's watch it again, keeping in mind that Officer Brian Insinia claimed in his testimony that he feared for his life as he approached the car. So you gonna you threatening to drag me out of my own car? Get out of the car! And then you gonna stop me? I will light me? you up. Get out! Wow! Now! After being pulled over for a failure to signal a lane change, Sandra was charged with suspicion of assaulting a public servant and jailed. Three days later, she was found dead in her jail cell. Her death was ruled a suicide. Now, not only does this footage further disprove the trooper's claim that he instructed Bland to exit her car so he could conduct a safe traffic investigation and told investigators that, quote, my safety was in jeopardy at more than one time. But it also poses the question, had Sandra Bland been white? And let's assume she was pulled over for failing to signal as she attempted to get out of the way of a passing police car. Would this interaction have gone the way it did? Would she been told then that she'd be dragged out of the car and if she did not comply would be quote lit up because to me this doesn't seem like someone acting out of fear but out of hate you may shut the and not tell me when I may take my kids. And that's why I think of this example. While the officers in this Port Authority example were actually verbally abused on several occasions, why was there no reason for them to fear for their safety? Well, that's because this phrase is often reserved to justify the escalation and at oftentimes the brutality of people who look like Sandra Bland. A fear that has been accepted as normality in a society where black men barbecuing are deemed a threat. This false narrative that has now become woven into society to the point that it has become a form of defense whenever an officer acts based on that fear. And that's the problem with this form of justification. It gives police free reign as long as they claim to quote, feel threatened or quote, fear for their life. And how can you tell someone that they didn't feel a certain way? Not to mention that making the case against this feared for their life narrative becomes infinitely harder when footage that shows the person on the other side of the badge was not acting in a threatening manner is hidden and according to Sandra Bland's attorney was not shown at the hearing. The cell phone footage of Sandra Bland refutes the narrative about her actions that allegedly led to her arrest. And it also poses some questions as to her frame of mind during this arrest. She knew her rights. She knew that she was firmly within those rights to videotape the situation while the officer screamed that he would light her up. Sandra can be heard saying, we'll take this to court before rightfully challenging the officer for his threatening demeanor. And this has some people asking, rightfully so, about the cause of her death, which many activists and public officials believe was not due to suicide. So how can the public be expected to accept all details of this case when crucial footage like this only now has been seen. And this is why we say Black Lives Matter. Because the way things look here, Sandra's didn't. And would it have mattered if she was white? These are questions we should all be asking and answers we should all be demanding. For more on this, you can come over to my Instagram at Francis M. Maxwell. Don't forget to like and share the video and you can support independent media right here. Want to see more videos like this? Then subscribe to the TYT channel below. And don't forget to become a TYT member. Get access for as little as $4.99 a month. Download the TYT Plus app on your phone or head over to tyt.com slash join today.